called a cold open toe. Cold open. You know about the cold open? <laughs> I do. I do know about the cold open. I love them. In the middle of things. Yeah, he uh, Green Sweetie beat the one star record, and then like the next day beat the sixteen star record. He's just a kid, right? Yeah. Just a kid, crack. just a crack little kid. With uh, what was it, two hundred out of three hundred sub goal? Yeah. Switch. Yeah. Just crazy for the love of the game. For the love of the game. Yeah. There's no other reason to. Yeah. A real gamer is a gamer who makes no money. That's right. Click we you in, Bobby. are back with the reads featuring the Mangster. Featuring the champion throughout time. Champion. Uh, the timeless one. <laughs> the timeless one's time. I think I yeah, won my first. Out? All stars, though. I'll, I'll play Fox. Yeah, I won my first tournament when I was Just 15. A baby. Just a I'm going to be 32 this year. I remember I made fun of your mustache. <laughs> I was, oh, was this how, like, how I remember that like mustache. Five or six years older than you. You're just a grown man making fun of a little kid's mustache. Play, playing a Nintendo party game. <laughs> In yeah, a those dungeon. Times, those times were crazy. I'm how old were you? Would, would you say, Bobby, at this point? Uh, Okay, pound. How old are you now? Uh, right now I'm 36. So you're five years older? So I pound, I had just turned... 14? 16. All right, so I was wow. 21. You're a, you can legally go gamer. get wasted making fun of a kid's mustache. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. See, but back in the day, it was normal. We thought nothing of it. Yeah. Just when we all plug in the controller, we're all, all we're all the same age when you plug in. That's I agree with that. That's one of the things that's uh, really cool about the game. I turned 34 yesterday. KP. KP, Fox Ditto. KP or KR? Both of them. Both. Both. This guy's confusing me, bro. Yeah. Taking the uh, stadium. The Fox Ditto on Stadium, we call that the Marcus A. Thank oh, yeah. Marcus A. Love Marcus A. That was weird. Oh, my God. We you were talking about something before we took a break. I forget what it was. It'll come to me. We were talking about Super Mario 64. We're talking about. Oh, he was dead. Well, yeah, he was dead. What kind of control you got? This is a fob. Fob in it. Is this gonna work? Uh, Does the control uh, the controller discourse upsets me these days? Man, I heard I you, you. We were at the bar last night, and I won't repeat what Scar said, but he had some choice words for people. <laughs> I'm not just not enjoying that dialogue. I'm just kind of sick of it. Well, because you're a box user. I guess. Yeah, so you got skin in the game. You know, I I would love to hear it because I feel like the box users kind of don't have a voice. They kind of just like. Uh, I, it's like no one really cares how you feel. Yeah. And you get made fun of. It's true. Yeah. And nobody believes that it's uh, harder in certain ways. Everybody just thinks it's busted. Mm -hmm. And That's true. maybe it is a better controller for the game. I don't know. I honestly don't know. You so know what Tope and I were talking about was uh, how in Street Fighter, the, it sounds like what Tope was saying is that a lot of the Ooh, top... I saw that Galliant. <laughs> a lot of the top Japanese players for Street Fighter 6, they're switching to hitbox. Yeah, because it's better. But also, on the other hand, even a lot the guys who've been playing, like, you know, like Daigo and shit. There's like four year olds. Four year olds. Mm -hmm. My boy Daigo, he's switching? Yeah. If Daigo's switching, I'm switching. That's, That's what keto. I'm saying. I mean, yeah. love Taquito. So it's possible that, that it's a better yeah. control scheme. So, okay, yeah. And, I think, and then it's just better. I think the thing we don't talk about is, like, if it is better, oh, should we all switch to it? I feel like for some reason we have, like, a controller Ooh. supremacy mindset. Yeah, we want to. Hey, man, everybody's afraid of change. That's yeah. just I mean, I'm not changing. People. I've been playing on this thing for too That's long. That's a fact about people. But I think, I mean, if it's better, maybe we should switch. But but maybe it's not better at the same time. I mean, I don't think there's a way right now that we can say. Well, I think the idea way. that, I mean, how often do you have to replace that, or how often does it break, or? Well, that's the, that's, th that's one. That is a big deal. That's convenient. I, I think everyone I th likes I that. I think that um, there was a point where I did oh, not right. have a controller that I liked, mm -hmm. and that made me not want to play. No, it, it can be very off-putting. I mean, I'm not. I, yeah, I couldn't. I didn't have the time to. Yeah, to get new controllers all the time, and I had to pay Nez 500 bucks to get a controller, Shots and Nez. it was good for a while, and then. Yeah, I mean, for me, know. I think I. I mean, I'm spoiled now. I want a, I pretty much want a new controller like every three months. Really? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm but I'm a diva. But the only thing is, I can get them. Mm -hmm. But if I'm like you know average Joe, I'm probably using my controller for like. Well. Cause they start going bad at some point, just the way they deteriorate. Cause this, what happens with this? What's the, what's the upkeep maintenance on a, on a box? Man, I've had none. You just bought it and it's good, forever. 
Maybe not forever, but... But then what do you do? Change out the buttons? No. I mean, yeah, maybe at some point. Maybe. Like when they, yeah. Because I heard they have a certain amount of clicks, but it's like a million or something, right? Something like that. The Marcus A! The Marcus A. Hit him with the Marcus A. <laughs> Dash Dude, Smash. Phil, one time I was commentating some Foxito. I don't remember what it was like. Could have been Cody versus Levin. It could have been Pools Foxes. And they were both at 100 the last dog, and Phil was like, oh, Dash Attack's Dash about to go crazy right now. Yeah, I always remember that. There's a point when it does go crazy. Yeah. Dash Attack's about to go crazy right now. <laughs> anyway, I could, uh, just... One other thing that I wanted to add that Toph brought up that I thought was a good point about Street Fighter is that uh, a lot of grapplers use pad. Because maybe it's better for the 360 motion, you know, not using the big stick. And is that true? I didn't know that. Obviously not using these digital inputs for a 360 motion. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you got to, like, do a big-ass circle. It you seems know? pretty difficult to me just to get it in my brain how oh, to shit. make a circle with this. Yeah, it doesn't um, even compute. So probably different controllers are de just better. For, like, different characters, for different, different yeah, situations. Yeah, different games. Different. Etc. So I don't know what the better controller is. I personally don't know that Smash DI is like the end all be all of Super Smash Bros. Melee. So I think that people are over focused on that personally. It annoys me. It just annoys me, okay? Which is why I was thinking that I wouldn't spend a bunch of time complaining about it. Because <laughs> that's the very thing I don't like. I like being positive and looking at what's cool in the game. Yeah, you got skin in the game. Like, it kind of reminds me of um, one of my favorite Reese episodes when we had Army on, right? And mm -hmm. this is right after the Wobbling got banned. <laughs> you guys had Army. And we did. And it was actually tight. Uh, he was like, yeah. he's the homie. And uh, he was kind of saying like, because Wobbling just got banned, right? Uh-huh. And he was... He was kind of saying, like, I don't feel like I can even, like, speak my mind on the matter. Because if I, if I say, like, why I like wobbling, people are going to say, well, of course you like it. You, you, yeah. player. In that regard, the if you're on the other side, like, you kind of want to be quiet. You, it's, yeah, you kind of don't want to say anything. It's not fashionable to say anything. Because yeah, everyone thinks you're biased. Which exactly. You are, but, I mean, we're also biased. Everyone's biased, Everyone's right? biased. Yeah. All right. Oh, shit. Hey, that was hot. Marcus A. Marcus A. <laughs> So giving the hands this time. How's that highlight? Amazing. That's what I like to hear. I have a tattoo of this. Do you really? Oh, he gave up. That's tight. GG's to uh, K R or P. Smacks. Smacked out of the way. I was like, like what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'll be thank you for reminding me. You gone? What are you doing? You want me to go? Whatever you want, but. Dude, I really I wish. Like who should I play? I want to play Luigi for no reason. I like That's that. That's such a tight pick. Luigi's cool. I gotta say, if there's, if I have one regret about today, I wish we'd had a professional photographer walking with us down the street when Mango came out of the liquor store holding a bag of Hawaiian barbecue potato chips in two forties. <laughs> that was the most picture perfect thing I've ever oh, seen. God. You know what this reminds me of? Oh, Joey. Oh, Joey. What does it remind you? You of? know what it reminds me of? You can use your brain toe. Call Master Hugs. Call Master Hugs. A Hugs. classic. Call UCLA. Hugs. Yeah. What yeah. about um, Legend? Pac Man yeah. vs. Hugs? Is that when he broke I remember that. Is that when he broke his hand? You know anything about that? <laughs> I do remember. And, Hug and Hugs was I really. For... Pac Man's my boy, and he played uh, this color. That really was the movie. set. I've known Hugo for a really long time. Pac Man's the homie. He's, uh, he's definitely the homie. Blue Laser, right? Blue, Blue laser, laser, baby. <laughs> I can't believe you remember Pound... that mango. Dude, that's my four. era. I remember. Count four, right? I believe it was. That's when Hugo. It's the saddest I've ever seen Hugo. So it was to make bracket, it was round robin. And Hugo, had, he had a good pool, like he'd been playing well. He'd beaten someone, I think at least one guy that was like really good. Quick, let me interrupt you real quick. Go ahead, Fun, go. uh, something these kids don't understand is back in the day, we didn't just start bracket. We did like three rounds of pools. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So round in order, robin pools. In so order to everybody. make top 32, which was, you had to play three bracket and every bracket got progressively hard. Mm -hmm. It got progressively harder. And then something you end up in a point where you have like, Hugo, Sound Spectre, Pac-Man, Falcomist in like one pool, like all pretty good players. That was the pool, yeah. Oh, Sound Spectre was in that pool? I think he was, yeah. And uh, if you're wondering, this might offend some of you, but back in the day, we used to, pools, people threw sets to their homies <laughs> in order to increase their chances of getting out. <laughs> yeah. So like, Falcomist and Sound Spectre, I'm pretty sure, were throwing sets to each other. So Hugo had to beat Pac-Man, which he should have, but Pac-Man just kind of for no reason... <laughs> Gave him the hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Hugo got really mad and like slammed a table. And then didn't say a word for the rest of the trip. Yeah. 
I feel bad. I saw him. I was a, I was a Hugo fan back then. I didn't really know him. I, this was when I was kind of a noob, right? Yeah. So, but I went. That was like my first <gasps> East Coast tournament. That, that was, was fire. so slippery. No, I think people forget. Slippery. I think Hugo's kind of a meme, but no, he was fucking good. Hugo was really actually because really um, coming up, I loved Hugo because I played Puff and he was a floaty, mm. and every floaty is floaty stick together because everybody hates him. Yeah. Oh, oh ceilings! <laughs> that oh. happens to Luigi so much. That was wild. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will take this time to tell a funny stories since we're on pound four. Yeah, but um, you guys know uh, Bobek Genesis. I knew you were about to tell that story. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Peter Please tell the story. Zopu. Zopu's a super homie. Super homie. So back in the day, um, teams they played teams. We they teamed together, just the two big fellas. And speaking of round robin pools, they're in the same pool with. Uh, me and Joey. And me and Joey are like one of the best teams at the time. Did we win that tournament? I would say, uh, yeah, I think you did. I don't even know if we. You won, right? Win. That was when you beat Hunger Box. And That's you, after I and retired. You dance jabbed him. And yeah. I slapped him in the face. But, um, so we had to play Peter and, uh. You did win teams. And second was Jeff and Dark Rain. Oh, we Dark fucked him up, right? Oh, you wow. did. But they fucked everyone else up, which was impressive. No, because Plank, because J Man was late, then not oh. only DQ'd them. M2K and J-Man. He DQ'd them out of the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard was so pissed about he it. He didn't DQ them into losers. Out of winners. He wow. DQ'd them out, out of the event. It was they Wild just... West Melee. Oh, I like, miss back it. In the and they really. were, I remember it, like, oh, that's funny when that happens. That's, uh... Marcus. That's the Marcus. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> Uh, I remember I was there, and normally I'm on the side of like the TOs, like, yeah, fucking DQ everybody, that's also the Marcus B. <laughs> Marcus is um, That's the Marcus were, B. I remember they were not that late. They were like No, they were 20 minutes, minutes late, late yeah, and they, got they were not that late. Ended from the tournament, and I remember they were so <laughs> mad. Wow. That was the one time where I was like, that's actually fucked up. Like, <laughs> I was 100% like Team Mutant King on that. Plank was a fucker. <laughs> He's such a fucker. Plank got knight that tournament, oh, wow. and Marcus. the theory is he gave Marcus himself Marcus. an amazing bracket. <laughs> dude, people used to, Dude, oh my god, pound four, now we're on the subject. I'll play Luigi again. Well, you so didn't finish your, your Hold on, this, we're devolving into ahead. multiple I stories. I love when we spin threads like this. But, yeah. so, we'll back in the day, not only did we do pools, not you know how brackets were made? Randomized. <laughs> so your seed didn't matter. So I owned and I got fucking chewed at first round. I was like, what? Oh! And chewed at is cracked at the moment. Yeah. So I was like, why the fuck did I get chewed at? Took his ass to Brinstar. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. Yeah. And did he yeah. go Pikachu? He probably went Pikachu. He probably went something stupid. That's what happened when I took him to Brinstar. I love taking him. In his own house. <laughs> in his own <laughs> house. I love telling him. That's his own fault. If he didn't want... There was one shootout by Weekly where I won and I had to play him at Grand Finals. I took his ass to Brinstar. Look, if he didn't want you to take him to Brinstar, he could have banned it. It was his he house. He could have branded. He could have branded. He didn't know I was going to grind him like that. Well, that was the risk that you took when you had those crazy stages. Yeah. Sometimes you would try to like be smart and ban Fountain of Dreams or some stage that you think somebody is actually going to pick. Mm. That's why in that one video for Spammer, I was like, like, why didn't I ban... Spammer, oh my god. I didn't ban uh, oh Poke Floats. Poke Floats. Oh. What a crazy stage. It's just... Yeah, it's almost rude one. to choose it. You're a dick. I actually used to choose that stage. But you're, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> but you knew you were getting into back then. I, 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 I just think that stage against Sis. Yeah, I you had to know the players that would pick those stages. Yeah. That be, people who picked them always picked them. Yeah. Oh, but uh, I don't think people realize how impressive Pound 3 was, because I had to win on Corneria. Green Greens. Multiple times. Green Greens is out of control. Ooh, Look, I feel Greens, like you, you probably died, died like at 20. 30. Yeah. I died to Fox at like 40. Up throw. It's insane. Yeah, Green Greens is so silly when you see how low the ceiling is. And how near the blast zones are. The side ones? It's yeah, such a no silly way. map. It's crazy silly map. Oh, but, um, so yeah, we're playing against Peter and, uh, Bobak. And I was, I didn't have a place to stay, so I was kind of bumming around. And, um, we had to play them in, uh, pools. And they have to beat us. Keep in mind, me and Joey are the best team in the world probably at the time. And we had to, they had to beat us to make it, to make it out. And Bobak goes, hey, if you let us beat you, uh, you can stay in the hotel room and I won't charge you. <laughs> wow. I said, I said oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So they beat but, us, and I remember these two people, I, I know exactly what they look like, I don't remember their name, and they probably hate me and Joey, and, uh... They had to play you next? No, we, so they didn't make it out, because we, uh... Always oh, it was pools. It was pools, so... Pools were random like that. Oh! Marcus A! That's frame the Marcus A! Frame Trap! <laughs> that was so sick! It's a jab, force smash. Okay, the story as I remember it, 
And this is where you remember we used to have the phrase when you miss a ledge dash, we used to call it bow backing it. Bow back. Bow back it. Yep. And my recollection is, and maybe that was a different oh, tournament, hated. but I, I I thought I thought the way the story went was you were trying to throw to them, but you're kinda of trying to make it look you know, make it look good. Oh no, we had it. Like we made it look and then and then I thought, Bo, my recollection is Bobak, for some reason, did a ledge dash when he didn't need to, and he SD'd, and he lost even though Mango and Joey were trying to throw. That might have happened. I somewhat remember that being an ancient legend. That might have been a different a tournament or something. Or, or, or That's definitely a story. Yeah. What you're saying is definitely a thing. But I remember yeah. the, the two guys go up to, to plank. They're like, bro, they threw to him, and we're all standing there. I'm like, no, they didn't. I'm like, they just played really fucking good. I don't know <laughs> and Plank's like, do you guys have proof? And he's telling the other guys. They're like, well, no, we didn't see it. And he's like, I don't know what the fuck to tell you then. And he just walks away. <laughs> Plank was like that. No, Plank was a fucker. That's what I'm saying. He's like, well, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Well, and he was from a region where things were cutthroat. That was cutthroat melee. That's where I MDBA came up. was... I came the... up with that cutthroat melee, dude. Yeah. East Coast is ratchet. There's H2YL, but y'all don't know about uh, TA, the affiliates. Most of MDBA oh, was, was, oh. <laughs> was in that crew, the affiliates. They had a lot of good players. No, it wasn't. The, it was uh, Team Arlington. My bad. Team Arlington. Team Arlington yeah. yeah. Who were the affiliates? G Reg was the Smash affiliate. TSA. Damn, TSA. TSA. Was, Got that's it. my crew. We're bringing up some names. That's my crew. Remember yeah, the, you were uh, talking about uh, Dark Rain vs. Silent Spectre, but there was also G Reg on the boards who constantly would say that he was better. He was always just in the corner lurking. <laughs> he, he would also, if anybody mentioned Dark Rain, he would like quote post them and edit it to change the word Dark Rain to G Reg is greater than Dark Rain. <laughs> <laughs> I do love G Reg. I, I was just such a, um, such a huge G Reg fan. He I was remember. not number three though. You were like number three. No, he was oh, way was worse. Before. Oh, before your time? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he was better than you uh, in the beginning, right? Definitely. I remember. I watched a crew battle, uh, and G Reg went in with his pink falcon, and uh, <laughs> oh said. my goodness, that is Marcus and Dunzo. I don't know <laughs> 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 Did not make that much sense. I liked it. Scarto? I don't think I don't think so. I don't okay. think in these waters. Dude, he played like a game and a half of the fucking sickest sheet you ever seen earlier. No, he did like six that. tech chases to me in a row. He was going for the national record. Uh, what was, it, what was I trying to say about G Reg? He did only knee. Knee, 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 knee. And he messed people up in that crew battle. Falcon could be crazy in crews. Well, he's explosive. Oh, dude. Falcon's a great I think over time character. he kind of got worse, but maybe that's just, I didn't, uh, maybe I was just. <laughs> dude, Falcon and crews basically think if neither of you were at this tournament in the off season, this was last year, I think I told you this story. They, oh, ran the a, they ran a, huh? The fun tournament. Fun tournament. They, they ran got, a uh, they got crew battle. They got Amsa ranked above me, by the way. Yeah. Motherfucker. All right, go ahead. Even, you know the sad thing is, even even Amsa, I talked to Amsa like, before the rankings came out. He's like, yeah, I'm probably number three. Like, they're going to put me number three. I got wrong. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, yeah, we, we, we get it. I still get bad thinking about anyway, it. Anyway, off-season, they ran a Falcon crew battle event where it was basically like the people that got flown out. Scar's gaming. Uh-huh. And uh, Scar's gaming out. Dot com. Dot gov. And uh, it was it was cool because basically the, the thing they were gonna do was it was me and Vince were the crew battle captains, but we didn't play. We just picked our crew. He just picked your team. We go back and forth. Yeah, out of the twelve, like basically the top players there, but not all the players in the crew battle were Falcon players, but they had to play Falcon. Yeah, play Falcon. Uh -huh. So which was tight because like you would like fucking <coughs> you know, obviously you had the four really good Falcons there because Johnny, Nun, Wizzy, and Salt were there. <coughs> oh yeah, they're all there. They're all there. That's true, yeah. But then like fucking you know, Ginger had to go up and play Falcon and shit. So it was like. So you kind of had to strategize, right? And anyway, so we picked, and then the, the whole thing was the loser out of me and Vish, like whoever's crew lost, I would, like, the winner would dunk the loser in, like, Nickelodeon slime. So it was like, there was, like, real stakes. There's some, there some stakes. And so basically, we, uh, you know, we had the list of players that we're drafting from, right? And it was like, it was like, obviously, we're going to go for Johnny Wizzy Nunn first. Right, right. Salt. So we rock, paper, scissors, and I was like, uh, I win the RPS. And Vish looks at me, he's like, all right, you want to do, like, snake pick? So snake pick meaning, like, I pick one, then he picks two, then, he, then I pick... And I was like, yeah, we can snake pick. And then I thought about it, I was like, wait, no, we're not snake picking, you son of a bitch. I see what you're trying to do here, because he's trying to get... He wants me to pick one of the three top Falcons, and he picks the other two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, no, fuck you, we're taking turns. <laughs> so uh, so I pick, uh, I pick none, because I'm going Guardians. So I'm That's like, fair. I have to pick none. Mm -hmm. And then Vish is like, all right, should I pick Wizzy or Johnny? And... 
I was like, I kind of wanted Wizzy, because I knew Wizzy in crew battles is like a fucking... He's a robot. He's a robot. That's exactly what I wanted crew battle. So I, as I looked at Fish, I was like, Fish, you should... Probably pick Johnny, right? I mean, you and Johnny are I thought he'd pick Johnny, yeah. Yeah, so, so, so he's like, you're right, he'd pick Johnny. And then I get, and then I pick Wizzy. And then Fish looks at me, he's like, fuck, you got none and Wizzy. And Johnny. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I mean, and so, long story short, it's it's like 20 stocks per crew. Wizzy takes fucking 14 stocks. <laughs> Wizzy, <laughs> Wizzy takes four. You carry? He carried Backpack. so hard. And I was watching, I've never cheered for Wizzy the way I was like, Fucking tech chasing Wizzy, yes, yes, and he was just doing his dirty Wizzy shit, and I was Love like, it. yes, dude, this is exactly what I need right now. And bitch was like feeling despair as Wizzy was just like robot melting. Did you uh, dunk him in slime? So I did. Yeah, it was tight. It was tight. Uh, so I, I owe Wizzy a fucking huge. They, they want to run that tournament again, right? Dude, it was really. Good I want to. Everyone said it was. Crazy, it was amazing. crazy fun. Yeah, it was crazy fun. So, uh, if they run again, I'm there. Yeah, those guys are super homies too. Uh, Hitch. Hitch. Fucking and, uh, Hitch, man. Yeah. Call me number two. Ah. Bitch. Scar? Oh, he's got brought him back. Is that a Nair? They came out of that very end. He's Which is magic. I got them weak hit. Dude. We, uh, first stuff. hit Nair, down tilt was such a good idea. I'm sad that it. I didn't want a down tilt, but thank you. Yeah. It's an accident, so they're always good. All right, here we go. I set up. Gotta start. make a comeback versus Peach. Make comeback versus Peach. What do you think about this matchup? I've never liked it. In my entire. Career. I think people, but the general consensus, thinks that Falcon shits on Peach, but I've played it a little bit. It's kind of tricky, because she just out aerials you. Like all of her moves have more priority. If you ever like super commit to something Ooh. and you're like off stage, she Ooh. destroys you off stage. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Dude, oh, that's sick. After your little spiel about how the, the comments are gonna say you're out of shape and stuff, you're playing. Scar's game on fire, yeah. This is Scar's oh, Super Bowl. Joe. <laughs> this is Evo Top Eight Sunday. This is, yeah, this is it. The this Reeves, is it. baby. Well, you know, it's a proven fact that Scar practicing for two days is unstoppable, as Fendrick Lamar once learned. And then he plays too much, and then he gets in his head, and then he's the worst player. But that yeah. sweet spot right in the beginning. Beautiful. It's a God. beautiful thing. He played Bettis W online for an hour two days ago, and then he played came over to my place and played me for an hour, and then he was. That's it. He's been on fire ever since. Two hour scar. Two hour scars. God tier. Starting to miss melee. Actually, you know, I got a I got a Falcon Peach question for kind of both of you, but I think I've talked to Bobby about this, so I'm gonna ask oh. you, Mango. Do you up throw or down throw Peach more? Because I I never know. Say she's like down 20. throw after like eighty. Say she's at like low, low-ish. There's percent. probably like a little mix-up. Yeah. That catches one of the DIs. Cause I, I saw like, low percent. I like up. Yeah. I saw when you were playing that that peach earlier when you were going Green Falcon. You were doing a lot of up throw, and I was like, maybe I should do more. I think it's a mix-up. Yeah. Ooh, chain grabbing Bobby oh, Star. <laughs> I know. Come on, dude. Come on, chunk. Chunk. <laughs> Come on, man. He's got a funny name. Ah. Uh, Kind of it. Yeah, but it's hard to know. Mmm! Mm. Got a shield there. Yeah. Peach is always gonna put out an aerial. I feel like the number one skill that you need to develop against Peach that I've always had a really hard time with is like knowing when you can continue your combo and when you gotta like let her. That's something that, uh. Oh. That's a Falco player skill. And if you're watching, I'm gonna give you the most freest, greatest advice mm -hmm. is, uh. Let the combo go. Like yeah, every yeah. Falgo wants to keep it going, let it go, stand back, shoot some lasers, and reset. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Falgo's like the king of 2-3-piece, two, 2-3-piece, two, 2-3-piece. Two, Dude, when you're fighting Falgo's that play like that, it's, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Because I learned, I was playing Zane, I would just get slightly greedy. I'm like, I want to keep going. Get mm -hmm. caught by a forward air, grab dead. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Yeah, see, that down throw didn't lead to anything. Yeah. Oh, almost there. Oh! Uh oh! You gotta hit those. What's the play? Might be good enough. Nice. Am I living? A little slow. You're fine. You're fine. Extra fine if they miss their upper. You don't gotta force it. You're 40, she's 90. Just... Oh, did oh, you wanna pay a force rush? Okay, what's the play? No, oh, get out of there! I do like the roll of center. Because mm -hmm. you get to live. Yeah. Even you got punished. That was a good roll. Oh, nice air dodge. This is a butt clencher. Is. Uh, Whoa! Uh, like ships in the night. Oh! <laughs> Why would you stop? <laughs> you 
You're such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a two day but scar. It was never... Scar practicing for a month in his own head. Right, 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 right. No, I'll let him take me to FD if he wants. FD is. I can't, this guy stomped and it nippled. That's insane. <laughs> that's the Marcus A if I've ever seen. Yeah, that's the Marcus A. Nice need to grab. What um, what games have you been playing, Toph? I've been playing, still playing a good bit of chess. And uh, what's your uh, rating? Like 1900, 18, 1900. When do you? What's the rating where you're like, this guy's pretty good? There's gotta be a rating where you're like fifteen hundred. I think Eric Eric Hansen. I think Eric said this. He said fifteen hundred is when you're a human being. But uh, besides that, you're a bot. You're shit. Basically, yeah, That's... you're a bot until fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred, you're like a human being. You can actually play the game. Yeah, like that's a gangster. Yeah, <laughs> you're fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, you're shit. Fifteen hundred's like respect. You're respectable, I think. So you're nineteen. Yeah, you're not too shabby. I'm, yeah, I'm you game I'm, a little bit. Game Do you game have like a bit. desired rank you want to hit? I want to. I'm actually thinking. I want to. I want to go to more uh, tournaments, and then and Jazz then is tight. Real. I mean, Jazz that is fucking hard. sick. Uh, the the month I played it, I had a lot of fun. Oof. Yeah, it's a fun game. There's a lot of a lot of different. It's like it's just it's when like, you outplay somebody. Oh my god, it, that feeling of like my brain is bigger than your yeah. brain just is so good. It's so tight. It's and like really my chess. Like yeah, there's like no tech skill. It's just yeah. my brain versus your brain. That's it. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I love the way. Uh, like in person chess looks when you just got this fucker right here and this fucker and they're just a, just a battle of the minds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it's so cool. Ooh. It's tight. I, no, I love it. I, love I also it. love their little thinking poses. Everybody has like their yeah, little fucking <laughs> looking at the ceiling and shit. Yeah, yeah it's tight. Uh, I want to get to like 2,000 online and then go to start going to more IRL tournaments. Yeah, I imagine they have tournaments everywhere, right? I think so. Yeah, and SF's supposed to have a good scene. Oh. Ooh, this guy fucked up taking you to FD. This guy did fuck up. Oh, that's quick. Right. Gotta be there. How about you? You prepared <sighs> CS grind. Dude, CS is... Are you global lead? Well, um, I, I'm probably skill-wise global, but nobody cares about the rankings, because uh, I play uh, some like third-party thing. Oh, like Face It? Or yeah, I put, I put Face It. Got it. Why do people play... Like, why do people not... Like, I never understood why they need that. Face It? Yeah, like, why not just play, you know, uh, the normal matchmaking? Better servers. You get to kind of pick... Um, what map you want? Mm. And uh, it's just no cheaters is the big thing. Because uh, matchmaking is. I, whenever I play matchmaking, it's like mm. on Face It you get more even matches because yeah. you can't really smurf. So like every game I play on Face It is like pretty evenly matched, which is playing a, a evenly matched game with CS is really fun. But uh -huh. like getting blown out in CS is the least fun you'll ever have. And I hate just winning like sixteen to three. Like that's not fun either. Yeah. To me, like CS is fun when it's like. Both teams are like slobbing it out back and forth, so that's why I like face it. Mm -hmm. It's more yeah, more even games, and I know everybody there like is legit. On yeah. matchmaking, you're like this guy's fucking cheating. You're just like <laughs> you're just you're just yeah, over yeah. it. It's just annoying. And then you just gotta sit there and lose round after round after. And it round. takes like 50 minutes, so it's just like yeah. You know. Yeah, that's the other cool thing about chess. It's like if I want to play a game, I just play a game. I can play a game. It on is my cool phone. that you could play on your phone right and it's now. It's like if 10 you minutes. To. Yeah. yeah. Come back. I want you to that's know. Um, FD was uh, not the not the choice. Thank you, Marcus. For your strength. I was gonna say, wait, um. Can refresh that. Let's see, did we make it? Yep. Are we diamond? We gotta hit diamond by the end of the session. Diamonds? I'll pull out the Falco if I have to. We'll play it on two, dang. No, hang on, hang on. That's, Marcus! That's, Marcus. That's, what it, that's what it takes. That's what it looks like to play diamond one level <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Melee. Okay? Fire. You just witnessed it. Wait, what's after diamond? Master. And then Grandmaster? And then Grandmaster. You guys are getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Thank you to all the patrons. Thank you again for watching. We've got uh, two more segments to do here with Mango, the Timeless Champion. Yeah. I'm going to start saying that. Can't wait to do more of the reads. Thank you to all the patrons. And um, what else? What else? I'll see you in the next episode.